Hey guys, another comment video here. Admittedly, the last episode was actually a lot better. Okay, no. Does me use this toque just seem weird on my head? Hang on. Oh yeah, it's the overhead lighting. Using this uh, lighting setup is not the best idea. Anyways, I'm going to be doing more comment read-throughs of the last episode of Supernatural. Admittedly, the episode was a lot better than was originally expected and why there's a lot more positivity in the comments. So I'm just going to kind of just read the good comments and see what we uh, what we go with. Again, I'm not going to read the names. I'm just going to read them off and then I'll post the ones which I think are the funniest ones. I did like this episode much more than last week, which is embarrassing really. I only wish they wouldn't have had the characters die and come back so many times. I feel the reunite the boys Cass and Jack would have meant so much more to me so emotion is literally taken out of the show for me I viewed that part of the end when Jack returned so barely so inconsistently like it just was there it was tacked on to the end we still don't have any idea how death brought him back again for the third time in less than two seasons. Uh, how about the ending of the series with Chuck being the son of God? Now, that's actually kind of an interesting sort of idea. However, I very much doubt that they're going to try and do that because everyone else has associated Chuck as God. Everyone, literally everyone, cosmic beings and all. There's no way, like Amara already like has addressed him as her brother, so I don't think that's gonna happen. It would be an interesting twist, but however, it would make absolutely no sense. Of course, the one time I'm counting on Dab to give me some roast-worthy material, he gives us a pretty decent episode. Admittedly, it wasn't him though, it was a few different writers. That being said, this is sort of what I was waiting for in the final season. Is it perfect? No, but I felt that it did a proper job of referencing past episodes with the pool hustling while giving us a complete image of the gods of our characters have been fighting since the beginning. A nice way to wrap up these monsters' existences and give our characters their mojo back. If anything, this is closer to what a hero's journey actually is. Not comical stupidity, but real sacrifice and a failure even when they tried their best. Jack's reappearance was certainly lazy, but at least Alex will actually be in this season. I will say there are some small stuff like the fact that lockpicking is a god-given talent, but being, pro pool, but being a pro pool player isn't affected at all. Also funny to see after 15 seasons, Dean still returns to self-deprecating and sacrificing Sacrifice, believing his brother is once again better than him. Heroic are a character trait that has been ingrained since season two. All in all though, I'm happy and I feel like I could be satisfied with series finale if this was on the same level for the nine remaining episodes. Yes, I will admit that the fact that these guys can still play pool well, yet they somehow lost their ability to lockpick is again stupid. I'm not arguing that the writers couldn't have done any of a better job with the absolute butthole that they got put into. I liked how they got out of it. I like that Sam and Dean are working together towards the same goals. It was fun to see them play well at pool, even though it seemed disconnect from the prior episode, yeah. I've been looking forward to seeing Jack coming back to help save the world, but having to eat hearts to gain power, that's against everything the show is though, even though the Gregory are monstrous angels. And Dean accepting Jack eating hearts and not being scared about him accidentally exploding people when he gets mad a la Mary, just because Cass said it was okay. Wow, Dean went from hating Cass to accepting anything he does without question. So I don't know, we'll see where this goes. Yeah, I, I can see where you're coming from there, cause again, this is like constantly turning around on itself. Like we just saw an episode lay down this absolutely dumbass logic, and then the next episode, while having to deal with that dumbass logic, did a pretty decent job of flipping it around. How far we have fallen. Supernatural's time slot has now been replaced by a Riverdale spinoff that appears to be a musical aimed at female audiences. The boys had a good run and now it's over. I feel like this episode, however, another hiatus is stupid. Just ended already. Oh, well, yeah, I guess that there isn't an episode this week. I guess it's going to be moving to Monday. The end of all television shows. Is it going to Monday or is it going to Friday? I don't, I don't know. Didn't Jack create like 10 angels back in the last season? I think they were used to heal heaven. And if they were a testament to the shitty storytelling, an apocalyptic event like heaven being destroyed isn't acknowledged. So I'm very much waiting for heaven to be acknowledged considering the big nail biter that was established, what, in the last season? Heaven is basically T minus countdown to exploding if any more angels die. Which, by the way, if more angels die, I'm going to be very surprised to see if heaven doesn't explode and they just totally forget about it. Alaska was pretty. Am I being sarcastic? This actually had a huge train because I was just talking about how it was probably Pit Meadows and then 
talked about how there's different areas in BC, particularly just really the bottom left-hand corner of BC, Metro Vancouver is where it's shot. And then someone pointed out that, wait, Jeremy, you live in BC. And I was like, I, I swear I thought I've established this several times. It definitely gives Sam and Dean a boost of power that they need. That is the luck of the demigods had in, in defeating feats bigger than their own. I love Sam lost the rematch against Fortuna. Had he won it, would have been felt forced. It was interesting to see how the gods came to be with a show enforcing judo Christianity. It's good to have Jack back, but it definitely makes it obvious he is meant to replace Chuck. Death in season five said he'd reap God, and it just makes me wonder if we are actually going to get a happy ending for the show. I don't think so. I think they're gonna die. I think. The show has started to go downhill ever since Catch was killed off. Oh, this guy, this guy trolling me. He's actually a pretty good troll though. He's He's done a good job for a long time. And what's funny is too, is everyone like took him seriously afterwards yet. Yeah, if anyone's like looked at this guy's comments throughout all of my videos, you know this dude's been pulling my leg. He's, he's a good sport. So Dean can't do anything without Chuck, but somehow he's great at pool. I hated this episode. I felt like last week's was better. No, 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 no. If you're talking about the logic of the last episode, yeah, this episode makes no sense in comparison because of the stupidity that the last episode gave us. But this is the best way they could have gotten out of that dum dumbness without screwing it all up. Like, you want an example, look at what happened with Rise of Skywalker. J.J. Abrams tried to erase a bunch of shit that was dumb in The Last Jedi, and then essentially made his own dumb dumbness. Like, there were some good parts in The Last Jedi that could have crossed over, but instead he just got rid of everything and then just tried to remake his own thing, and then that's exactly what happened. At least that didn't happen as badly here. It, it, it actually was a more of a positive outcome. Pretty good episode. Jack's back. I'm confused what Jack is at this point. He was an archangel of the soul, then burned away his soul, killing Michael, then went crazy, Chuck killed him, and then cast, deep fried his meat suit in hell. I guess death can resurrect, but can she put your soul back in? I doubt the writers even know it, and it probably doesn't matter at this point, but I never really understood how Jack has had an afterlife after his soul was gone. Is that the angel part? Yo, the logic of death in this show just makes no fucking sense anymore. It's been gone for a long goddamn time. Is it just me or Sam the true hero? Because it seemed to me all D wanted to do was get their luck back and leave. But yeah, I will say that Sam has always been more of the moral high ground between the two. Dean's about getting the job done. He has some moments here and there, but Sam has always obviously been the much more emotional character and they've had opportunities to make him more of the better character. Sam essentially is actually the better character in terms of like a down on paper sort of concept. And he's had some moments even after season five because he was obviously the main character with the whole uh, fighting the devil thing but in season nine was he the one where he was thinking about closing the gates of heaven or no go gates of hell and he just wanted to die that was that was some pretty good stuff considering just the latter seasons have always kind of been like me pretty sure they'll tell jack that killing god is not a good idea replacing him maybe but certainly not killing him plus does jack know about amara surely billy told him that if he kills god he would have to kill amara too or the universe would be out balance. Plus, surely Amara would have issues with Jack attempting to kill her brother. As much of a dick as he has been retconned out to be, yes, good point, she would still be protecting his ass, right? Admittedly, yeah, like, I still don't know what they are going to do with this. I don't know how they are going to get themselves out of this situation because they've established in previous seasons that you can't kill God, otherwise the whole thing will go into a complete imbalance and they can't trap him. Dab's gonna pull something out of his ass, I know that. I think this episode was better, but that's not saying much. Watching them play pool the entire time really felt boring to me. It felt like the production was trying to save money, although the Fortuna Garlis had some pretty interesting lines. That was the highest point for me. I'd much prefer watching the story she was telling instead, but I know that they never do that. Well, one frustrating thing about it at the end, though, was when they had that random girl deliver Fortuna's message to the boys just to cause a little twist effect. I think it'd been much better if the goddess had said those things herself. Yeah, I, admittedly, I've heard I've heard a lot of bad things that happened with the first three episodes in Ladner. Admittedly, they did have some budget issues there. I guess, I don't know, I like the pool stuff. I thought they did some cool that camera dynamics. The fact that you can tell it's them actually playing pool for almost all the shots. Maybe they might have had a few where they had a stunt pool guy, but I think that they did pretty decent. I like the work on it. It reminded me of The Color of Money and The Hustler. So I thought that they did a decent job. And admittedly, yeah, pool can be kind of boring, but when it's shot this way, especially on a television budget, I thought they did a decent job in, you know, making it entertaining. Anyways, guys, that's all the comments I've got. Um, thank you guys for giving me your comments. Admittedly, this wasn't as funny as the last one was because obviously the episode wasn't as bad. But we'll see when Supernatural returns 
next week? I don't have cable. I don't check the Facebook that often. I'm trying to keep up with this has just not been the boo for me. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd leave a like, that'd be great. And if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. I'm gonna be continuing on. We've got nine episodes left, so... We'll see. Thank you guys again for your comments and uh, very much appreciated. Anyways, see you guys next time.